What's up, Athena fam? Welcome back to our guide to precision irrigation. My name is Jay O'Keel, facility advisor for Athena. This is video two of our five video series. Today we'll be covering crop steering. Crop steering is an advanced cultivation technique that involves making fine adjustments to environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, light, and substrate EC to promote stress at specific times to manipulate plant growth. We'll focus on how to manipulate irrigation events to effectively encourage either vegetative or generative growth. This allows the grower to steer the plant towards a desired result. Why would we want to stress our plants? Stress can actually be a good thing when it's timed right. Inducing stress will push more generative growth cues, while alleviating stress will trigger a vegetative growth response. Vegetative growth is when a plant's energy is focused on producing more roots, shoots, leaves, and increasing flower size. Plants that are in a vegetative growth phase will typically grow taller and wider. Generative growth is when a plant's energy is focused on producing flower sites more rapidly. Plants that are in a generative growth phase will typically grow more compact with shorter internodal spaces. Being able to bounce back and forth between these two types of growth will allow us to control the height of our plants while also being able to put on mass when it's time. So you must be wondering, how can irrigation strategy promote vegetative or generative growth? To induce vegetative growth, we want to alleviate stress by lowering substrate EC. Typically, we do this in one of two ways, by forcing more runoff and having a shorter dryback period. Forcing more runoff will flush the media of built up salts and a shorter dryback will give the substrate less time to concentrate our substrate EC when drying out. To promote generative growth, we will induce water stress by increasing substrate EC. This is done in two ways, by utilizing a technique called EC stacking and or creating a larger dryback. EC stacking is done by using irrigation events to maintain proper VWC percent to keep your plants from wilting while allowing little to no runoff. A larger dryback is done by ending irrigation events earlier in the day to give the substrate more time to dry out. Both techniques will initiate a stress response in our plants by increasing the EC in our substrate. Understanding how to strategically time vegetative or generative growth throughout the growth cycle can make all the difference in achieving the best possible yield and quality when it comes time to harvest. During veg, our goal is to promote rapid growth of roots, shoots, and leaves. So we will be pushing more vegetative focused strategy here. During the first four weeks of flowering, when our plants are stretching, we want to limit vertical growth, initiate flower formation, and stack our bud sites closer together. During this time, we'll be steering more generatively. After our plants are done stretching and flowers are formed, we want the buds to swell and put on as much mass as possible by alleviating stress. We're going to be decreasing our substrate EC by pushing more runoff and decreasing our dry back. So this will be a vegetative growth irrigation strategy for weeks five through seven. And finally, when our plants are two weeks away from harvest, we want to reduce any built up nutrients in our substrate and encourage our flowers to ripen. During this time, we're actually gonna be using both vegetative and generative irrigation strategies. How is this possible? We will be forcing more runoff to flush our media to decrease substrate EC, but we will be also ending our irrigation events earlier in the day to create a larger overnight dryback. During this time, our plants are still putting on mass, so vegetative strategy is necessary, but we're also wanting to do some sort of stress to signal the plant to finish up, and this happens with a larger dryback. As you can see, by utilizing strategic irrigation events, we can effectively time vegetative and generative growth cues during crucial points of the growth cycle. Getting this strategy dialed in can significantly increase yield and optimize the quality of your end product that we all work so hard for. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to be covering veg irrigation strategy and irrigation phase P1. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any questions you have in the comment section.